This one is from the book, uh, section 5.1, number 5. It shows a mystery graph that I reproduced. Looks like this. I reproduced it using um, a process called Lagrange interpolation that I'll show you about in class. It's pretty interesting. Anyway, you would just copy it onto your paper. All right, then part A. It wants you to describe the motion. So it's always positive velocity, so it's always going forward. But from three seconds to one second before the start, if zero's time is like the start of a race or something, the particle was speeding up. It was speeding up, speeding up, speeding up, until right around one second before the start of the race. Then it started slowing down, slowing down, still moving forward. Slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, still moving forward though. So that was the motion of the particle. Um, part B. Find, uh, they say, under and over estimates for the distance traveled. Well, uh, over is the same as, the, as an upper estimate, and under is the same as lower. So those are the same. But the problem is, is that the function is not monotonic on the interval from negative 3 to 3. What that means is it's not strictly increasing or it's not strictly decreasing. It's a mix of increasing and decreasing. So those nice rules we had about lower estimates and upper estimates don't really work out as far as using left rectangles or right rectangles. We're going to use a mix of the two when it's appropriate. So for the lower estimate, you're going to use whatever type of rectangle on the interval gives you the lowest value there. So for a lower, I'm going to use the 1.1 over this. There's your 1.1. 2.2, yes. Over the next interval, I'm going to use this value. So I'll be under for sure. Um, on the next interval, I have to use a right. I have to use a right rectangle because that's under now. And then I'm going to use rights from then on out. Now, I eyeballed these values here off the graph. You know, just a rough eyeball. But doing that, I was able to use a mix of left rectangles and right rectangles and come up with a lower estimate of 9.1 centimeters. Now of course you factor out the 1 and you add up all the V uh, velocities. Now that's getting a pretty refined underestimate. Uh, next I will show you a, uh, a, a more gross uh, estimate way to do it. Okay, Then the upper estimate um, for upper, I'm going to use the uh, upper rectangles. Okay, for the upper estimate, we're going to clear off this uh, picture here. And we're realizing we're going to just take the, uh, the largest estimates. So we're going to have, on the first interval, uh, we're going to have to do uh, the 2.2, .2, which is over here. And then on the second interval, we're going to do the 2.9, which is up here. Um, let me color those in better. Yeah, so I want to do those again. So here you have your rectangle, and you're coloring it in. And then over here, you have using a right rectangle for this one. And that's going to be here. And then you want an upper. Now here's the problem. This point here is not quite as high on the interval as this point is. And we don't really have that. We could say what it was. Um, or we could just say, well, it's close to 3. So why don't I just use 3 uh, 
for the rectangle there. So I'm, that's why I'm using three. Okay. Then from then on out, I'm going to use uh, left rectangles like this, like this, and like this to be over. So those will all be over estimates. Okay, so that's what all these numbers were. Okay, and when you add all those rectangle sums up, you get 13.6 centimeters. All right, now let's find show a more um, uh, not as refined way of doing it. So we're going to go back to this and say for under this in a different color for under or lower let's keep it consistent lower you just to go um, well I'm going to see going to use this area here which is a one by one so that's going to be a one by one and I can just use these two blocks here and those are under. There's two of those. And they're one wide. Here I'm going to be under. I'll just be safe and be way under. But just these. Just use another two. Here. Eh, I could do 1.5. Or I could just do one under like this. And here. I could do, um, well, I could do a 0 0.5, or I could just do a zero. And here, same thing, zero. Okay, and I can add all those up and get one, let's see, five, six. So that's way under. Let's see, so. Um, now we're going to do a, a real unrefined upper. Okay, so upper. Let's say we're going to do um, this whole thing here. That's a 3 times 1. Plus this one we can use again a 3. That's all that. Use a three again. We can use a three again for this one. We can use a two. And we can use a one. And in that case, you get 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 15. So those are less sophisticated upper and lower estimates. And you could see that somewhere in between those, you could refine it different ways. So there's many different answers to if you just want a, a lower and an upper.